Now to Benicia, where police arrested one person allegedly taking part in a very large sideshow. KTV's Greg Liggins joining us now with those details. Greg. Yeah, Christina, this one happened last night, not far from where Benicia borders Vallejo. And a man who works nearby says another sideshow, much smaller, happened at the same intersection about six weeks ago. Now, in this recent case, there were no reports of injuries, but there was some damage. Daylight reveals fresh burnout tracks left at the intersection of Columbus Parkway and Rose Drive in Benicia Friday night. Police estimate about 300 people gathered here for an illegal sideshow. And when the first officers arrived to break it up, police say some participants approached the officers aggressively. Some of them were carrying, um, you know, bricks, and, and I know at least one of them was carrying a cinder block. Benicia police say officers called in help from CHP, Vallejo, and other nearby agencies that assisted in dispersing the crowd without incident. But at the neighboring CVS store, a broken window pane and the front door had to be repaired after police say some sideshow participants broke in. There were some consumable goods that were taken, um, snacks and drinks. Saturday afternoon, a glass company repaired the damage. So we realigned the doors, you know, we put back on the track. So now it's perfect. Though hundreds showed up, police say they arrested one person who is facing charges of reckless driving and possession of a controlled substance. They also impounded two cars, one of them seen here. A man who came to pick up the owner says the driver did not participate in the sideshow, but arrived after and simply got stuck leaving the driveway because his car was too low. I got a call from my friend. He said he got stuck and I just came here to push him and now they just came like 30 days his car. I guess they saying there was a, he was at a sideshow or whatever. I don't know what they're talking about. Benicia police say there's an ongoing investigation of the sideshow and in time more arrests and vehicle seizures are possible. We are looking at all leads. We are looking at all um, security um, cameras um, that possibly could have um, captured this. Police are also using data from automated license plate readers. In May of last year, the city council approved $236,000 to lease and install 45 cameras in various parts of the city. And police confirm cameras have been installed at that intersection where the sideshow took place. Greg Liggins, KTVU, Fox 2 News. Greg, thank you.